Good day everyone. My name is Blanche Dias and today I'm going to speak to you about a topic with which I think most of us resonate because we are living in this situation in the present moment and have been doing so for a while now. Ever since the pandemic began and we were asked to work from home, initially it was a wow factor no more endless commute to work. I'm working in my own comfort zone. And finally, I will be able to give equal attention to my job and my family. But these past 18 months have thrown up hidden challenges. And I have to call this video from Zoom to Boom. There is a very blurred line between our professional and personal lives. We think that we are masters of ourselves. We don't have to wake up at an unearthly hour to rush through to catch the 733 local to office. And no more just one measly hour at lunch. But it doesn't quite pan out that way, does it? Because we are on call all the time. It seems that days have gone into nights and what seemed so structured as a 24-hour day when we went to office, now where have those 24 hours gone? They just don't seem to be there. You know, when we started off with work from home, there was a lot of procrastination. We thought, why do I have to rush through things? We have the whole day stretching ahead of us. But soon it is evening and we haven't done a fraction of the work we scheduled for ourselves. Home is meant to be a relaxation. It was a haven to which we returned at the end of the day. But when this haven becomes your office, it punches a huge hole through relaxation. However much your parents, your wife, husband, kids want you to join them at a family dinner, now after 18 months, you have become a compulsive robot. You've got to check your email just one last time, please, or you have got to look at your phone once it bings because you don't know what the message is all about. It's getting so very difficult to switch off. I know a young professional, her name is Anna. She puts up this huge do not disturb sign on her door. While her husband and parents respect that, her two-year-old daughter doesn't yet know to read. So she bangs at the door, she yells, she screams, she throws the mother of all tantrums. And in the room, Anna is sitting with her very efficient noise-canceling headphones, blissfully unaware of what is happening outside. Until one day, her boss asked her why her home resembled a war zone. And that was only because the little one thought mummy had abandoned her. She felt unwanted, unloved. She just didn't understand what was happening. But unfortunately, your bachelor boss doesn't understand too, at all. Work from home is not a woe only for employees, but for everyone at home. There is an irate young son who warned his mother not to work the pressure cooker, not to bang pots and pans in the kitchen, and to tiptoe around and definitely not come into the line of camera vision. And the goal of it all, he still wants lunch at the appointed time. Man is not meant for social isolation. We need interaction. But that does not happen with a lot of stress coming into the equation. It 
may be right at this time to think of making a timetable, a doable timetable for every day. I find the structure of timetables very effective. But your timetable must be inclusive. It must include time for everyone in the house to do their thing because everyone needs me time. And this house is not yours alone. It has been a home to many people 18 months ago and is still the same. And when everyone has their own space, there will be equilibrium and calm. And how can I forget dress code? I know this young guy who wore a very crisp shirt and tie for an online meeting with his big bosses. This was worn over a very comfortable pair of boxer shorts. The meeting started was going swimmingly well, but what he didn't bargain for was one of the bosses asking for a file that he had not kept ready on his desk. So unfortunately, he had to get up. And the bottom line is, pun fully intended, he's never able to live that down. Don't lounge around in your PJs, please. Put on a little makeup, put on some nice clothes. It'll make you feel better. Oh, I know this work from home is a real bane of our existence, but unfortunately, it's here to stay. And I think we've all got to cope. And I honestly believe and urge you to make those inclusive timetables, because once everybody has a boss space in their own time and in their own home, I think it's going to be a win-win situation for everybody. So a structured life is the way to go to dispel the work from home woe. Have a wonderful day.